Hey guys, SK Shlomo here. Let me tell you a story. When I was nine years old, I saved up all my pocket money to buy a tape by a band called The Prodigy. The tape was called The Prodigy Experience. And I loved that tape. I listened to it so many times until it fell to bits. And there's something about the kind of ravey dark synths and crazy drum breaks and um, like mashed up ragga vocal samples that just took me to another world. I just felt like I had like superpowers. And I just remember like studying the liner notes and looking at the, the label, right? XL. I remember looking at the logo for XL recordings and thinking, one day I'm going to release my tape on XL recordings. I felt so inspired. Uh, I had this tape recorder, so I, uh, I hit record on my tape recorder and I started drumming these crazy beats on my drums. And then I snuck into my brother's room and I stole his tape recorder so that I could hit record on that recorder and play on the one that I just recorded my drums on. And then I could record my vocals with me like rapping over the top and I started making these songs with this kind of nine years old dream of, of, of releasing this music out to the world and you know what fast forward a little while and not a huge amount has changed a lot of my dreams have come true I have been a professional musician for a little while and I've been able to collaborate with a bunch of my heroes and I've been able to perform and have my voice heard on some of the world's most prestigious stages but one thing that really hasn't changed since I was nine years old is me releasing my tape my music out to the world is still very much a fantasy it's a dream that I've never pursued mostly due to simultaneous fear of both failure and success yeah not much has changed I'm still sat here pretty much day after day the technology's changed a little bit I'm no longer using two tape recorders but I'm still sat here kind of making up beats and and vocals and what's changing now is it feels like I'm I'm kind of ready to start sharing this music so how do you do that well you get signed to Excel, right? Um, that sounds like a short answer. I'm not signed to Excel. I am not the prodigy or Adele. I'm just a normal guy. And I think people are sometimes quite surprised when they find out that I've never signed a label deal. Just because some of the stages that I get to play on, most of the acts who kind of work their way up to that level have been signed and they have been releasing their music and they have, you know, that traditional pathway of record song, release song. People hear it on the radio. People want to go and watch that song being sung at the show. And I feel like I kind of sidestepped that whole process a little bit because I was always concentrating on creating an innovative and engaging live show. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! which meant that because people came to see me and my technique and my, my style, they didn't actually necessarily need to have heard my songs on the radio or anywhere else to want to wanna come and see the show. But I kind of feel like now I want to go back to the beginning of that process and kind of go almost a more traditional route. I want to start releasing my songs, but I feel like I'm kind of starting at the beginning again without, without really knowing what I'm doing compared to like a bunch of my peers. So I recently finished the first song off of this new solo project. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna just send it to a couple of labels, distributors, and these kind of, you know, industry gatekeeper type people. And I was greeted by either a no thank you or just a, a no response at all. And it got me thinking, you know, how much of a proposition am I really in a world where your data matters almost as much or even more than your music. So it's kind of like, well, how many millions of streams have you got on Spotify? And I'm like, well, no millions because I haven't released this project yet. So I'm an unproven entity and therefore it's a, it's a risky business for these companies to be investing in. And you know what? Anyone can go out and can release music onto Spotify and Apple Music and all those platforms. It doesn't cost a huge amount of money, but that means that lots and lots of people are doing it. Without proper investment into the promotion of the music, my songs could quite easily just get lost. It's a bit like opening a shop in your back garden and just putting up one sign saying songs for sale and expecting it to kind of to be huge. So I want to make sure that I do it super professionally. So then I'm thinking about, you know, the last few months I've been really enjoying building up a direct relationship with my followers, with you guys. So I've been trying to be super honest and documenting this whole process and I'm really enjoying that relationship and it just got me thinking. Putting my, you know, childhood dreams of getting signed to XL and being just like the prodigy to one side. The real reason I wanted to get signed to a label is so that you guys could hear my music, right? So that my, my songs would get out into the world. Now I was thinking, who do I really want on my team to do this? Who can I think of who shares my passion and drive and, and cares about the music as much as I do? It's you guys. You are the people who put me here in the first place. Without you guys, there is no show. There are no videos. There is, there's no music. Uh, you are the people who have been uh, clicking the links and sharing them and posting them up and, and spreading the word 
word and reaching out to me and like dragging people down to my festival shows and, and down to my headline shows. It's all about you guys. It's been amazing. I want to say thank you. And I also want to say, please, can you come on a journey with me with this new music I'm making and help me get it out into the world? For example, what if I put together a uh, crowdfunding campaign? People will be able to pledge to buy the music before, before I finish making it. That money goes into a pot which it would enable me to do the songs justice. So it means I can cover the recording costs, it means I can uh, do proper post-production on them like mixing and mastering, and the all-important promotion would mean that it can actually be sent out into the world rather than just shouting into, into my back garden. It would feel like I could actually get it spoken about on the internet, get it onto radio, get it kind of into the world's consciousness a little bit. You would be forming part of a community, right? So it's not just that you buy the music, it's that you enable the music to be made. You become part of the process. So I can share everything that's happening with my pledges, and I can also um, make up a bunch of rewards for those, for those pledges. So for example, your name in the liner notes, backstage access to a gig, I'll come and do a gig in your, in your back garden, a signed guitar or microphone. There's hundreds and hundreds of ways I could say thank you to the people who support me and it just feels like together we could harness the power of the collective and achieve way more than I could do just by myself. Some of my beatbox sisters like Bellatrix and Grace Savage, they've both had fantastically successful campaigns uh, on Pledge Music. Um, and also another friend of mine, She Makes War, she's just reached her target to release her album using Pledge Music. And another friend of mine, Newton Faulkner, I watched his whole album campaign all happening through Pledge Music, felt like we were all part of the process with him. So yes, I would still love to live out my childhood dream of being signed to Exile and sending my tape around the world. But the truth is I'm not prepared to wait around for someone else to do the work for me. I've always been someone who's driven and focused and um, able to kind of motivate a team to work with me and I want you guys to be that team. But I am hesitating about whether or, whether or not to go ahead with this plan. I don't know if I have the strength to do this. Let me tell you why. Almost a year ago I had a plan. The plan was I was going to create a 12-month pledge campaign and every month I was going to um, record and release a new song for 12 months until after the year had passed the album would be done. I thought you know what I've had a bunch of success in the past when I've had commissions to write to a deadline. I seem to be able to work quite well in that way like I know I've got to get it written by a certain date so I started telling myself that's the only way I'd be able to do it was with monthly deadlines to make me finally achieve this dream that I've had since I was nine years old. But it went horribly wrong. I, I locked myself away and I kind of said, I'm not allowed to come out of the studio until I've written these 12 amazing songs that are going to define me and define a generation and be the most important, amazing songs ever written. And that, to be honest with you, is a recipe for mental health disaster. It kind of... I just felt like I wasn't good enough. I'd come out of there every day. Even though I'd been writing and creating, I'd come out of there feeling like I wasn't good enough to go through with this. So I had to pause, I had to, to take all those deadlines off. I've been doing a huge amount of work on building up my strength and my, um, my resilience. But I need to make sure I find a way to let this music out and to make sure I have a platform that I can regularly release and publish my work, but in a way that I don't feel like a failure when things inevitably vary from the plan. Um, which is what always happens in this crazy beautiful world. Things never go as you expect and, and if you're in a place where you can embrace that and go with it, you can, you can achieve amazing things. But if you're in a place where you're criticizing yourself because you said you were going to do this by this date or you said you were going to achieve X, Y and Z and you haven't done it, you're not good enough, you're a terrible person, it's just not kind and it's just not safe. So I need to make sure this is safe for me. So that's where I'm at, um, just like my nine-year-old self, I'm still full of dreams and hope and love and passion um, and I really feel like if we were to work together, um, we could really harness the power of the community, you know, the power of the collective and create something truly special. So yeah, I'm feeling super hungry, I'm super excited, um, I'm very, very anxious and fearful. So I kind of, that's why I'm reaching out in this video to you guys. 
I thought I could have just gone ahead and put it online and said, this is the campaign, we're doing it. I feel like I'd much rather connect with you guys first and say, what do you guys feel about this idea? Is there any way that you can help? Like, have you had any experience with, with pledge campaigns, either as a pledger or as an artist? What would you be interested in having on there as, as rewards? I just want to know what you guys think. So please get back at me, uh, either in the comments below or on my socials. And um, I really do read every single comment that comes through. I'm so grateful for, for the support you guys give me. Like, without you, um, I wouldn't be able to do what I love for a living. So uh, I just want to say thank you. And here's to hopefully something really incredible. There's me signing out. Over to you. Peace out.